another video. Today's video is this Lockwood sent to me by Paul Springett, all the way from Australia, so thanks very much buddy. I'm going to try and get the open on here for you. Now he called this lock jelly, it is a stock lock, um, but when you're picking it, the springs are really, really strong. and It literally feels like you're just bouncing off jelly. <laughs> it's really um, peculiar. On top of the key with attention. I'm just going to go in, pick off the binders. Starting at the front, one's binding. Nice set of one, two. Was a bit dull. Moving on to three. Three feels set. Four. Four felt like he's already at the shear line. Five. Now you can open this lock, I've opened it a few times already, by oversetting 4 to get to 5. Um, just by letting off the tension. So that's what I'm going to try and demonstrate now. Now that I'm happy with all of these. 2, number 3, 4, 5. Do that one more time. Just making sure these are in position first. So. Didn't want to work for us, did it? Three's pop back down. Actually, three set. Two is. As is one. So again, it's that to the number five. Number four is an overset trap, I believe. Three. They are let off the tension, <coughs> went back to put put the tension on and I just flicked round. So, that ball was an extremely challenging lock. Um, you did say that it was hard. <coughs> it didn't come with the key. So, I'm just going to gut it now. Put it down on the mat. Let's see what's inside. Zoom out. See what we've got. So keeping it in the pick position. Two screws, which I shall just use this. Unscrew. Two in the back plate. Taking no chances with this. So I shall be using the shim. Follow up. Right, so nothing really to tell with the um, the plug. Got it. 
So in one, just as I thought, they're all um, tapered. One and two, three, four. And five, there you are, tiny little bugger. So that would have been hiding right up behind pin four. So that would look something like that. Which is a decent bitten. Put that to one side. Pin one, if I can find my tweezers. It's tapered. Take the spring out well with that. Them springs are ridiculously strong. Two. Looks like a standard to me that does. Just get rid of that. Shame. Again, a strong spring. Three. Same spring. Four. Five. Give you a close up of the um of everything at the end of the video. I'll take some still shots. I will give you a close up now. So that's what we were up against. As you can see all of the key pins are tapered edged. So you can see how they slant off like that. So when you're picking these up, these have got a slight bevel on the end as well. Taper. That one, that one, that one there. It's upside down. There and there. But these are really tapered. So when you're picking these up past the shear line, because there's tension on the lock, it'll push this pin up into the chamber. And instead of sitting just below the, the shear line, this bevel part gets stuck or even pushes into the chamber. So basically you're pushing that pin out from in between the shear line and the key pin ends up being where this one was because you're using a quite a lot of force to prevent these from oversetting. And what happens is they shoot through the gap, which is why at the end of the video when I let off the tension, one of these that I would have picked was probably overset. So when I let off the tension, this would have fell back down to the shear line, span the plug, or span the lock, opened the lock basically. So that's my stock lock Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was fun to make. Thanks for everyone leaving all of the comments and showing further support of my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see somebody's leaving the thumbs up, please. Perfect. See you soon.